Hi, welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. What we have on the bench is a digital door lock by Carbine Next Generation Locking. So this is an Australian company who have uh, made this one. This is not like the ball coming from US or the lock with digital that's made in China. Let's do an unboxing. Okay, that's the box and that's the box open. Instructions. Instructions. Lots of instructions. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Okay, so a full exploded diagram, installation, open handing, tools needed, swapping the combinations. That's something that this lock is, uh, is different for. It's a lot speedier and better at changing the combination. Latch size, chiseling, very straightforward, easy to install. Um, how to change the handing on the lock, just stick the Allen key in and adjust it. Uh, how the tail piece should be in there. Um, handing again, fitting the strike with the keeper box and uh, how the strike works. So instructions are fairly straightforward installation diagram installation diagram this right here has a 60mm uh, back set or a 70mm back set so edge of the door to center of hole we're basically just drilling a couple of 10mm holes here and an 8 and uh, 8 and uh, 8.5 8.5 top and bottom to hold the lock on the door three holes here at 10mm and you're good to go you also need to carve in your latch but fairly straightforward okay so the handle is here this is some this is new actually before they had a different handle that you had to rehand, and the instructions talk about a different one. So what have we got here? Okay, internal handle. Let's have a look and let's just gauge this up. Okay, so there we have our handing screw. Remove that to one to the other to create a left and a right. Metal by design. Exposed screws. Easy installation. Nice rounded finish. Good stainless. Oh, sorry, good uh, satin chrome finish. Looks good, I think. Looks good. Rubbers for the base with exposed holes. So this is interesting. When you've got digital locks, and I'll pull the rest of it out, you actually need to get to these parts. On a lot of digital locks, to change the code, you have to remove it all down, remove the little parts out with tweezers. This particular lock is different from that, and one of the benefits are that you can flick them left and right. They've gone even further, and they've made it exposed through the black rubber, so that when you've got it all in your hand, which I'll show you in a minute, you don't have to remove that one more piece. Speeding up the re combination change combo phase. Okay, let's have a look here. That is chunky. That is 1.5 kilo, I reckon, or at least a kilo. That's chunky. So here's our code on the back. You can see it's simulated by the red ones, and you can actually change these by flicking them up or flicking them down. Uh, is it up or down? Okay, left and right. Left and right. Here is our base plate right here, and you can flick these left, or you could flick them right, and uh, you don't even have to take that off. Our spindle goes through here, our two posts are screwed on the side here, that's why we had to do three holes, and our 8.5 top and bottom to hold, hold the lock on the door. Stylish on the front, nice round, like almost ball bearing shaped buttons. Quite nice. And they have a high, um, high level of R&D where they really flog the snot out of these type of locks to test them. I believe some of these locks also have a high salt water rating. Um, I'd have to go through the instructions to find that. You can find it on our website or on the Carbine website if you wish to look at what uh, what uh, durability they have with salt water outside conditions or exposed water conditions, anything along those lines. Go to the Carbine website, you can find it. Or if not, we'll have them on our website to be sold. Uh, you have your tail piece here, which is uh, different lengths to cut it to. You have your Allen key for rehanding of the handles. Your two uh, posts that screw on the back here, these hexagon two posts to screw in there. You've got some screws to screw the uh, lock body through and uh, locating one there as well. A couple of grub screws there. All fairly straightforward. Looking over here, here's your latch right here. Fairly solid latch, comes with a latch tube. Don't know why it even needs that piece of aluminium. Maybe aluminium was on special and they decided to use it on their lock. I don't know. Is that necessary? I don't know. I don't think so but it's there anyway. That's the latch. It works off a, a standard um, flat drive. Flat drive, so that's different. I'll show you that. This lock works off this flat bar right here. It goes through like that and drives left and right. So with that in consideration, you could most likely use this flat bar and, and use it on uh, different types of locks perhaps or convert it in some way. 
Uh, in the box still to come is your stainless steel striker plate which have a plastic, piece of plastic over the top uh, to keep it well protected and scratched, unscratched until you install it. On the back you have a just a little mild steel latch keeper box so that when you actually carve all this in you're looking at it from this direction you see this nice metal plate on the inside rather than all this carved out wood. So that's, that's handy there. You have a little triangle. This is a US UFO shaped one. I saw one like this the other day. Uh, what does this do? What does this do? No idea. This is an unidentified piece of flying object of this lock. I have no idea where that fits or what that does. I just can't see what it does or where it fits. Ah, there we go. I found it. Right there, underneath the handle. It goes in there. Why does it go in there? Because it's covering a, a grub screw that goes through there. So you put your handle on, put the grub screw on, which locks this handle to the shaft. Shaft, handle, grub screw. Put it on, tighten it up, and then you can put the UFO on front to uh, cover that up if you wish. Okay, fairly straightforward. Nice lock, um, made by Carbine. Uh, you can go to their website and check it out more. Uh, we'll be selling them on our lock shop. If you look at the size of it as well, I'll see if I give you some sort of idea on size of this because it might not be, might be bigger than what you're thinking. 180 down and footprint of uh, about 48. Now when I was speaking to the sales rep about this, apparently there are plates as well that you can use. So you can put the rubber on there to, to gain a little bit of uh, footprint. <clears throat> We're up to 57 now. 57 and there is a stainless plate as well I believe that you can put on beneath that to actually give it that little bit more um, that more room. One of the ways to defeat this type of lock if you look on the internet is people come along with like a V shape and they try and manipulate the bar. As you can see here what they've done is here is they've raised that in the protection so that would actually be into the door if you can see that tower right there so you can't come along with like a funny shaped bit of ruler and try and manipulate that to bypass it so I'll just quickly make that point as well that is the carbine and let me get this uh, part number right on this uh, this is dun, 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 dun. Oh, I can't find the part number on this here we go CDL 7100 carbine digital door lock so C for carbine D for digital L for lock Carbine Digital Door Lock 7100, uh, made by Carbine, and that handle goes on the front. I've got to take it out of the bag, I'll just push it on there though. That's it. How, how good cool is that? I like the buttons and the button design. Clear button being up the top is pretty cool as well. Um, that's all I've got to say about it. Leave a comment down below. Cool lock. We're going to do a video on fitting this shortly. Stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching.